hello so today um i'm just doing a quick video i <clears throat> switched over from my five by seven to my eight by ten plate i was doing stamps for halloween masks and um skulls and unfortunately i wasn't paying attention because i was making the stamps while i was watching tv and now they're a little bit big for my five by seven like they were going to be but we'll put them on here and see how they are but see, I start off with just basic sketches, really rough, rough sketches. And from there, then I decide what I'm going to cut out. And these are all made from cardboard, just like the ones I showed you on my previous video. But I'm just trying them out, so I figured, oh, I'll turn the camera on. I've done a couple. Some of them, the first time you stamp them, they don't come out so as nice as they will eventually. This one, I really like the way that came out, but see how this one, it's way too long for the plate I was using, so I had to switch over. So let's do some stamping on the 8x10. A little Halloween theme going. Let me shut up that air conditioner. So now you can hear me. Let's start this again. Okay, so today I'm working on the Halloween theme. I, um, while I was inside, I made, while watching TV, I did some sketches of masks and skulls. They're not supposed to be human, but they certainly don't look human. And I did some cardboard stamps. As you can see, it's just shipping board. This one's the back of an old drawing pad and shipping board, shipping cardboard, shipping cardboard just carved out. This is just cereal box cardboard and pizza box cardboard. And so is this. So I did them on my 5x7 just to check them out. And unfortunately some of them were too long so I have to switch over to my 8x10. So I figured I'd film a little bit of what I'm doing. As you can see these don't go, don't come out very well the first time. But the cereal box ones I think from the start Pardon me, you get a good image from the very start. Okay. I'm going to use black. <coughs> Pardon my coughing. I was eating something earlier that went down the wrong way. And I've been coughing ever since. All right, that's a little bit much. Let's pull some of it off. Let's try that one that I couldn't get the whole image of because it was too long. This one. Now, I'm going to push it down real well. Because it does have layers of cardboard on it, even though it's not that thick because... And I didn't put a handhold on the back of it yet, so I'm probably going to end up with a divot in my print. But this is only one of the early prints. It'll probably be cut up for a collage anyways. All right, let's see what happens with this print. And I'll, what, I like to do a bunch of them at once because I like to let that one dry a little bit before I use it again. That helps. Okay. So as you can see, that is a nice mask image. Can you see the detail and the dimension in it? So we'll put that aside. Let's do another one. I can probably fit both of those skulls on here, side by side. And what am I going to do with these when I'm done? I have no idea. I was just in a Halloween mood and I wanted to do masks. I will probably do prints of them. The ones that actually, like that one that we just did, I'm definitely going to do prints of that. But let's try this one. And see, it's a Stouffer's cardboard. Now, if they're thicker, you can lay a piece of cardboard on top and then run over it with your brayer, but these are not thick enough. And while it's down there, let's put down a thing of tape so I can pull it straight up, hopefully. I'm pushing it down everywhere, but not not sliding it around the plate. So, 
I may still need to help it a little. All right, let's see what kind of print we get with that one. I think this back edge here is not so good. But see, each one you do, you can look at and see where, where am I going to need to put more pressure? Where is it not doing what it's supposed to do? And as you can see, you get down at the bottom here, I needed more pressure. Can you see that? But, see, I can go back with pen and ink, and I, I will go back with pen and ink and color in and, and actually make something out of this. Even though it's not a good print as it is, it's good to work with. And it's one of my favorite things to do, to just doodle on the prints. Let's go this way and do, see if we can get both of those skeletons on here. They didn't do really well the first time, but I noticed the, the top of them is the cardboard from package from um, a box, cardboard shipping box. And I noticed that takes a couple times before it actually gives me a good image. I think it needs to get a coat of paint on it. And somebody was saying about, uh, you know, cardboard will tend to fray here and there and they were worried about the little bits. I don't worry about the little bits at all myself, but if you are worried about the little bits, I wouldn't use a, because they suggested using gesso, and I don't do that because you're going to see brush strokes. And if I want to see brush strokes, I do it with, a, you know, I paint it on. I don't want to see brush strokes on these. I want to see the texture of the cardboard. So if you if that bothers you that, you know, the little bits are loose, you can try sanding them off gently, or you can try um, some kind of spray sealer. Um, like ceram coat or I mean any kind of acrylic spray sealer should work and I don't know why I didn't cut around these I just left them rectangle let me give it one more now see around the nose on this one is not doing well I will have to go and see what it is that's doing that Now this one's doing fine. That one, I think I may have used some paper over the top. I'll have to go see. And I think that paper may be not wanting to let up, let the paint up. But you really do have to do these a few times. So that's why it's nice to, you know, just know that the first ones aren't going to be that great. And you can go back with pen and ink and... I think actually it's the most fun part. Okay, so those don't look bad at all. This right here needs help, but I can see, and like this, if I, if I like the print, I could go in with white chalk or white pastel and lighten up that area that I think should have been light but is dark. So I can fix that. Now I've got one last, last one to print, and then I'll print that first one again, and then I'll be done. Let's... And you could actually, yes, you could pull that up with some, uh, with another color over the top, but I actually just wanted black and white with these because it's my Halloween mode. And I've got some more videos planned. We're going on vacation for a short time in October, but I'll have videos. My goal was two a week because not only do they, I, th I think it's nice to share with people, they also keep me inspired and keep me going. I have discovered that this is really works well for me. Because I'm always doing something different. That's just the way I am. But it's really nice to be able to share it with other people. I'm pushing down everywhere on this one. And I think I'm going to give it a good push. Because this is the first time this one's been used. And I may need to do it a couple times before it really, really gets good. I don't think I'm going to be able to pull it up with the tape the first time, but first time you use it, it's really stuck down there. And I don't know what this is supposed to be. I started out thinking I wanted to do a bird skull, and then I did 
ears or horns. I don't know what they are. I just went off on a tangent. All right, let's see what we got. And I will do uh, some drawing on these and put that after this video. There'll be the pictures of what I've done on this one. And, uh, well, it's interesting. I don't know what it's supposed to be. Very good image, though. Image of what? I don't know, but it's a nice mask. I'm going to do one more. I'm going to do the, the one that I really love. See how it does on the third try. And then I'm done, and I will, like I said, I will put images of everything that I've done and I'm going to take some of these in the house and uh, draw on them and I'll put those images on there too because people have asked me what do I do what do I do with the prints well I do a lot of things with them I draw with them I cut them up you know but quite honestly I love gel printing so much that even if there was nothing I could do with them I would still be gel printing I know nobody would understand that unless they've done gel printing now I want to be careful because I don't want to get paint on my baron here, my baron. Use whatever you got. I'm being careful not to slide, but I'm, I'm pushing down on every inch that I can. And I'm going to go look at the first one that I did to see where there's any place that doesn't come up good. Okay, so that would be on this side, did not come out that good last time. Especially pushing down on that. And we'll see how he comes up this time. Yeah. Still a problem with the crown on the one side of it this doesn't come up as good as the other side, but I'll work on that. And you know what? You can take these and actually you can go over them with, uh, like if you wanted and decided you wanted the lines across the nose, you could go over that with some glue. And it would be, you could add extra to what you've already got, even once you've done it. All right, let's get it all up that we can. And then I'll be done. At least I'll be done for the video. Well, the bottom of his mouth did not come out very good, but I know where it is. And there you go. There's that one. Can you see that? See the detail you get in them? Really love these cardboard stamps. So I got two good ones from that one and a couple okay ones. So I'll keep going on this and I'll, like I said, at the end of the video, I will put the pictures of what I've done and then what I do to it because I do do it along them and reinforce them with inks and paint and chalk and even some crayon. I've done some um, frontage work on them. So, um, thank you very much for viewing this. Please like if you like it. We're trying to get this channel going. Subscribe if you want to see more. And for all of you that, that are giving me those good attaboys, thank you very much. Everybody needs that in their life, especially now. People need the attaboys. If you've got them, give them. Thank you very much, and you have a nice day.